Brittany and I, you guys have such a fun first episode kind of flip where you guys are just coworkers, you're, you're existing in this world. And then you guys basically get to be detectives from like a certain point on. And I was just like, oh, this is so much. I had no idea what I was getting into. And then to see it be a detective show, especially with you, Nat, when you're sitting in that office, just like watching the footage, it's very yeah. funny. Um, and so what is kind of the fun of getting to play something like that, where it is a mystery of the week, almost kind of show, but you guys oh, are really? the detectives. Oh, I, I love that question. Yeah, no, I, I, I felt that completely. When I first read the pilot, in the beginning, I was really taken by the eerie nature of it and also the funny dynamic between Elaine and Craig. But then it was the twist at the end from their detective work that when they saw that footage that I screamed out in my apartment and I started sending it to all my friends. I'm like, is this as like blazingly original as it feels? And everybody was like, this is incredible. Um, and uh, and then I just was like a rabid dog chasing this part. But the detective journey was, you know, they're, they're such unlikely candidates to be the detectives but that, that that's what makes it so interesting it was so fun I think the writing really made it like engaging when they have those sidebars and working with Nat he's like bringing some cereal to munch on and then Elaine's giving herself raises and Craig's laughing at that and it, it's just uh, it, it that's what made it so that was some of the funniest scenes that we had was just the sidebars and normally they can be really boring and just tell you what's happening or the backstory and it was the exposition in this show yeah. was an exposition for some reason it was it was just so brilliantly written and we were talking about things that were so bizarre that yeah. exposition in a normal texture it just took on a new meaning i i actually thought of i thought of columbo a lot with my character <laughs> it's a it's the era of columbo back on tv um <laughs> there it's all back and amy you're, it's so funny because they keep mentioning his girlfriend and like before we meet her you're like wonder what this girl's gonna be like and then she's like incredibly nice yeah. and so it is very funny to kind of be like oh no like I was for sure being like these two co-workers should kiss and then this girlfriend is like very sweet and now <laughs> I feel bad about it um, so, <laughs> playing a character that is kind of like th that like has that reaction in that pilot what is, how is that, like, what is the fun about kind of being, not a side character, but she is kind of like the, the in the whole pilot, you're like, oh, wait, are these two dating? And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Right. I was completely. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when I talked to Tony about, because Patty's like very light in the pilot, and then she, you know, gets yeah. more part of the story later on. But so we only read the pilot. So what, before I signed on, I talked to Tony about her arc and it was really important to me that she wasn't like a tropey character, like the other woman that you kind of, she's like terrible. Like they're still wrong for each other. I, I think Patty and Craig are wrong for each other, but um, it, there's no lack of love there. I think it's just, they're just on diverging paths and that's okay. And sometimes that happens. You don't need to hate Patty in order to love Elaine. Um, and I think that, you know, for, for her journey, it's more so she really thinks she knows who she is. She has a very strong sense of self and how quickly that can turn when her life starts to uh, kind of derail from that path or, or detour from that path that she set out for herself and how susceptible we all are to that kind of like mind shift when things start going awry, how quickly we can uh, course correct or in the wrong, you know, on the wrong path. And so I thought that was really interesting to take this character who really thought she knew who she was and doing something in the end that she never in a million years thought she would do. Yeah. It's like, it's like the most, the sweetest of love triangles. Cause you're like, they're all great. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't have a preference. You know, part of the theme of this show in the macro is like uh, the moral sort of ambiguity and like, how, how do we feel about this? And I think that in the in the micro with that sort of uh, relationship between the, you know, Craig and Patty and Elaine, that is also part of that dilemma, which is like, oh, there's nothing. No well, one in a, yeah. In a really strange way with that triangle is that th 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 it was kind of made itself clear as the season went on is as much love as there was, it, it, there is between Patty and Craig, um, they don't really see each other. And, and it's sometimes it's easier to be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't see you. Whereas Elaine really sees Craig. And that is, you know, that's, that obviously is, you know, c closer to what, what, you know, a soulmate should be. But, um, you know, if you're not mature enough for that, that's too scary to be in a relationship with somebody that actually sees you. 
Yeah. Um, thank you guys. That's my time, but thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm, I can't, I said this in the other room. I can't wait for my mom to have questions and call me every week and be like, what, what did this mean? What does this mean? What is this? And I have to explain it she does with every other show. So I was like, well, the consultants just added to the list. Um, I would be cool to see that generational thing with the parent and like, <laughs> is there is that, you know, I'm excited about that. I like your inside it's, it's, Davis poster and your Sing Street poster. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys. I can't wait for everyone to get to see the show.